my name is Isabella Green. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you some practical, simple guidance as on how to assist the planet at this time in counteracting what's happening here. In counteracting not only the consciousness of the virus that we are now facing, but also the consciousness that is spreading over the planet and that is the energetics of panic and all of the stuff that to me when I zoom into uh, the way the energy field of the planet looks at this time to me it looks like gray static we have been able to counteract that gray static static recently with all of the meditations that are happening but we still need more work and in case you are new to this in case you are just learning or just joining the light worker family here and just learning to hold that light i want to share with you some tips of how to do global grid work and also how to counteract the virus i literally just received the download of how to counteract the virus today and i want to share this with you as all of my methods that have come to me have came to me this way through my downloads and my meditations i have been super effective in helping hundreds and hundreds of people that I actually work with uh, one on, in one-on-ones. So here are the tips for the uh, work as a light worker if you're just beginning to do the grid work. The first and number one step is to make sure that you are maintaining your own energy in the peaceful balanced state. You definitely should not be sharing the panicky or fearful or distressed state with the rest of us. The number one priority, the number one responsibility that every light worker carries on, uh, on this planet at this time is to maintain your own inner peace and inner balance. And meditation is something that would help you tremendously. Staying in the present moment too helps tremendously to calm down any sort of distress or fearful response because most anxiety is generated by uh, foreseeing something that is not really happening to you at the present moment so continue bringing yourself into the present moment and also meditation calms these emotions down and you might have some time in the to spend extra time in your meditations because you might have a little bit of time before you are able to find that peaceful sweet spot but you are going to find it just give it a little extra time as once and once that mind calms down find that light fill your own energy field with the light some people envision golden light some people envision a rainbow light some people envision white light whichever it is that resonates with you let's just take a white light as an example here so envision filling your body every energy center in your body every chakra point in your body with the white light filling up your spinal column with that white light and expanding that white light out into the room or the space where you're at nine feet around you you want to carry that and maintain that all around you at all times uh, placing a diamond uh, glow or the diamond protective shield around that nine feet diameter is also a good idea just to counteract whatever energies that are coming into your energy field you might want to envision that being uh, like a mirror surface on the outside but make it a mirror surface only externally so the mirror is facing whatever is outside of you and from the inside of the energy field envision that it is transparent surface so your energy field has a membrane around you and it is transparent and you have that protective mirror reflective surface on the outside so this is the vision or the visual to hold and once you you do that everything that i just mentioned you're going to find that your mind calms down and you're in this space of divine neutrality once you found that divine neutrality 
start sending that light out of the top of your head out into the grid of light that the light workers are holding around this planet just tap into just go ahead and visualize the energy field around yourself around the area where you're at around uh, the globe and many many people have been writing to me recently saying that they can see the glow around the planet and i have been observing that too but i am observing and it's kind of lopsided at the moment it's a little bit localized to certain areas i guess maybe where uh there are more light workers or more proactive light workers and some areas are just still overtaken by that gray static or that energy of the uh, whatever mentality is being produced and also the virus itself because the virus itself has frequency and we're getting there in a moment but visualize that energy field and visualize the grid points around the planet this is very very basic grid work that you can do right from your home right from the comfort of your own bed if you wish so as you visualize that also imagine your own signal that's pulled from that beautiful light that you're holding around yourself coming out of the top of your head moving into that grid and joining the grid and as soon as you join that grid you're going to experience that incredible elevation of energy and so make sure that you don't suck that into yourself but also share it's a flow that goes both ways so you're not only delivering that energy you're also receiving that energy it's a beautiful exchange of energy but it creates the flow and the balanced exchange of energy of light around the planet so this is the very very basic grid work i've been doing um, a little bit more advanced stuff because i can see the grids and i can see the energy field every night in my meditations i have not skipped a single day of meditations since this whole uh thing started and i am actually in a really good and balanced and peaceful space regardless of being fully aware of what's happening around me and receiving so many calls distress calls and I, all i've been doing lately is just giving that emotional support to people over uh, over the phone but uh, aside from that i'm still or in parallel with that i'm completely able to maintain my own energy field because i am supporting the grid i'm supporting the bigger picture and i'm also supporting my own energetic state supporting your own energetic state is important uh, that's the most important thing for you to do at this time because that makes you immune when your energy is high when you are if you are unable to get into a positive state of being or excited happy state of being divine neutrality is a good space just make sure you do not allow your frequency your energy your emotions to drop into the lower denominations and join the rest of what's happening here our job is to maintain the upper frequency on the planet and support the positive expansion of events this is the great awakening that we've been asking for waiting for and it's actually happening it's just going to take a little bit of wobbling as as is it is natural for any old stuff that it has to be moved out of the system before we can implement the new structures so maintaining yourself in good space energetically emotionally physically working out uh keeping your emotional uh, and mental state in check this is crucial for all of us every single day here is the next tip as to how to interact with the virus itself and i have just downloaded this this is fresh and it was shown to me so clearly in the meditation this morning that i just had to sit down and share it with you right away so i do entity work this is especially relevant for those who do entity work or who are familiar with interacting with spirits in various forms 
when I do entity work, very often when I encounter primitive spirits, so spirits with primitive consciousness, and the spirit of a virus would be exactly that. It would be something that would be on that level of consciousness. Uh, when I encounter these, I very often uh, generate a recalibration space for them. I, I have a recalibration station that I have created as a working space for, me, for myself. And I envision pulling this primitive spirits into that recalibration station. You can do the same exact thing with the consciousness of the virus. Because the virus has a consciousness of a very primitive kind. Envision that you are scooping the consciousness, that gray static. It literally looks like old school TV when there's nothing on it and it's just that gray static. That's how the consciousness of, the, of that virus looks like to me. If you guys are visual, perhaps you have seen the same thing. So visualize scooping that consciousness into a recalibration chamber, a recalibration station. It's a known fact that human souls go through recalibration chambers when they enter uh, higher dimensional spaces. There are various types of recalibration chambers. Visualize whatever it is that works for you. For me, it's just a space uh, that literally has that kind of filter like yeah, and the recalibration like function. So scoop this, the consciousness of the virus into that recalibration space. And as you pull and visualize, just pull in a flow of that gray static or consciousness. Um, and to me, it looks like a lot of gray dots. So let's say it's an individual consciousness of each part or each particle of that um, virus. So collect all that into vacuum it, it into recalibration station or recalibration chamber and then you can allow it to come out on the other side into a container that turns it into light and it is a very effective process I found in working with primitive spirits and uh, I literally just um, tested that out today in just observing how the consciousness and the intensity of, of the consciousness of that virus changes when you do this kind of process. The thing is that it's already, that virus is already losing its intensity. It's already losing its power. It already turned out to be much less deadly than it was meant to be originally when it was created. And so it is already working. Assist in that way so that you could clean that up, clean up that type of consciousness and recalibrate it into a whole different state of being, recalibrate it into the light state of being and that would neutralize the, let's just say the aggressiveness or the deadliness of this spirit. So I wanted to share this with you. For those of you who are with us, in the ranks of the light workers on the on the front lines, or for those of, of you who are uh, familiar with entity work and the ones who are just joining us, the light workers here to assist the planet, to assist the consciousness and the energy field of humanity as a whole. Uh, I invite you to first hold yourself in a balanced, neutral, peaceful space. And then share your light with the grids that the light workers hold around this planet. Ex visualize that light expanding. I have seen it going higher and higher up, not only expanding around the planet horizontally, but also shining up higher and higher out into a whole new space. I've been having dreams about incredible, completely different worlds. I did not imagine that in my head. I just keep having these dreams uh, or experiencing that, that new space in my dream time. So there are incredible prospects coming forward soon. So do these things. And also, if you are comfortable to visualize, recalibrating the consciousness of the 
a virus into uh, or through recalibration chamber and into the light, then it will join us actually in our uh, work and our function because everything that's been through recalibration chamber and everything that has been converted uh, more or, or shifted from the dark polarization into the light polarization technically literally uh, joins the legions of the beings of the light on this planet. So I appreciate you tuning in and I appreciate all of your work and your efforts and your contributions. We got this, Lightworkers. I'll see you next time. Take care now. Namaste. Thank you.